Before I wash off this makeup, I thought I'd give you an update of what happened today. I went over to the media office to meet up with my friend Michael, which I'll get to later. Anyway, someone comes into the media office and says, Hey, who would like to become a zombie? I, of course, volunteered. Uh, and I had about an hour before uh, Michael and I had to go somewhere. And so we're like, all right, cool. So we get some makeup on. A couple of us, you know, become zombies. And we go shoot a promo for this zombie run, which is basically exactly like it sounds. Uh, this is the second year they've done it. And last year it, like, won an award at the school for, uh, like, best event. And you get some people dressed up as zombies, and you get some people dressed as humans, and the zombies chase the humans. That's, as far as I understand, pretty much what happens. I don't know. But we shot a promo for that, so we put some zombie makeup on, and we, you know, stared at the camera and went, Arr. <clears throat> And then it was time for Michael to host his radio show, which is why I was meeting him there. He wanted sort of a guest co-host thing. Uh, if I were to be a co-host officially, I would have to pay membership for uh, Air 3, the radio station, and I haven't done that yet. So he's like, you can just be a guest, and if we enjoy it and we have fun, then you can maybe pay your dues and officially become like a co-host with me, and it'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, so after shooting the promo, we had to book it, uh, pick up some keys, we had to sign out a pair of keys, and there were two pairs of keys, and they were both labeled differently, and we're like, what do we do? We just took both. And we ran up to Sterling Castle, because uh, that's where the radio station is. And uh, so we got there, we unlocked the door and whatnot, and started doing the radio show, and I locked the door again, because I was like, I don't want anyone to like come in, right? We should probably lock it. Near the end of the show, we're getting close to wrapping up. And uh, we we're talking about, yeah, we took two keys and stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah, if somebody's coming to do the next show, I should probably unlock the door. So I went to unlock the door. And at that moment, they were coming up, the next hosts. And I'm like, oh, well, perfect timing. So they didn't notice that they were locked out. But apparently, yeah, the keys were the same. They were just labeled differently. And we were only supposed to take one. And then they were to take the next key so that they can get in. And then we go back. And like that way, it's sort of like... There's always keys there for the person that needs to come and get them or something. Uh, so now we know that. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We'll probably uh, do more shows together. Uh, so I might even pay the membership fees and you know officially become a member. Or since I'm only here for one semester, maybe we'll just have me be as a recurring guest. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. But anyways, after that... Uh, as soon as the show is over, headed over to the studio, which is the name of the bar that we have movie trivia night every Friday. Also, um, fun story about this makeup is uh, my friend Carrie, she saw me with the makeup on uh, back when it was clearly on more than it is right now. But uh, I was standing in the hallway on my phone with my back to her. And somebody yelled out, oh, hey, Ohio, because, by the way, that's clearly my nickname. So many people call me Ohio. I don't think that many people know that my real name's Jacob. But they said, hey, Ohio, and I turn around, and I look up, and I'm smiling, and I got the makeup on. Probably would have been more effective if I had told this story when I still had the makeup on. But I smiled, and, I, and dark eyes, white face. And Carrie hates people with masks on. Uh, she freaked out the other night when... We walked into the studio, and it was just filled with clowns, which, to be fair, I'm not scared of clowns, but I was scared of clowns right then. There was a lot of clowns, some of which had scary masks on, others just a little bit of simple clown makeup and, like, clown costumes. It was very intense. The bar was filled with them. She turned around and ran. But today, I mean, it's just me, clearly Jacob. I'm not a threat, and I've got a little bit of makeup on. I turn around. She sees me, turns around, runs like halfway down the hallway. She eventually did get used to it, and, uh, you know, we were hanging out and talking on the, uh, you know, for the rest of the night. We walked back because uh, my living quarters and her and her roommates who were walking with me, they, you know, live further down. But uh, as we were saying goodbye, she's like, I'm so sorry, you know, that you scared me. And I'm like, why are you apologizing to me? I should apologize to you. 
but I'm not really sorry, and I'm probably going to try to do this a lot more. And we got a group together, and uh, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of details about movie trivia right now. So you always get a team name, and our team name was very long this week. It was that person that you will always find at the kitchen at parties. That was the full name of it. Somebody said that it sounded like a band from the 90s or something. I don't know. But that was our band name, or our, our team name. That was our team name. And then uh, our friend Elsa put on uh, the quiz this week. So it wasn't the usual people, because if you want, you can submit around and host if you want. So I'm probably going to host. I'm working on questions and whatnot. I'm trying to make them not too hard, because I know a lot of like behind-the-scenes stuff that's really exciting, and there's just no chance anyone will know that. So I'm trying to like think of things that people could at least guess the answer to, not like, you know, really weird, obscure stories that people won't know. Um, anyway, so uh, we did that. You've got like... Um, a couple rounds. The first round is like a picture round where they've got like pictures of movies and you have to guess what movie they are. Uh, we got 10 out of 10, I think, on that one. And then, which, those are usually fairly easy. Um, sometimes there's a movie or two that are hard, but, I mean, there's like a still from How to Train Your Dragon 2, and you're just like, eh, I got this. Um, and then, after that, there's rounds of 10 questions, and, uh, there's usually maybe like two rounds that are trivia and then a round that um, is music. They play a song and you have to say what movie it's from. And so that's like the trivia round. And then I think I've mentioned in previous updates that there's a, there's a second quiz that's a movie pitch where they give you two actors, a theme, or like yeah, a, two actors in a, uh, a genre, and you have to pitch a movie. So while we're answering these questions, we're like killing it. Like I think the end count is we got three questions wrong. So we were pretty confident. We're like, man, if anybody does better than us, like that's amazing. Um, and I think we did like significantly better than a lot of other people because they were all like, what, you only got three wrong? I think it was about three we got wrong. But anyways, while we're doing that, one of uh, our teammates was like, we're waiting because they graded after each round and they keep score up there and all that. Um, we had a blank piece of paper and one of our members was like, what should I draw? And I was like, draw a self-portrait. And Joel was like, draw a unicorn. So she drew herself on a unicorn, gave that uh, unicorn some tattoos, including a teardrop tattoo. And then sort of on the rear of the unicorn, just like in My Little Pony, she gave a rainbow tattoo. And then she was like, and a skull tattoo. And then a tattoo of Eddie Izzard. And then she also gave the unicorn a tattoo of her. So this is a tattooed unicorn. And then she's really big on it. She write, you are your dreams. And we're like, this is a wonderful picture and you should show it to everyone. So she was showing it to everyone. And then she eventually showed it to the host of the trivia night. And we're like, this is a picture I drew, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, that's really cool. And it kind of almost is going to relate to the movie pitch. And so we were like, hmm. And I was like, I was already going to try to work it into the movie pitch no matter what, because this is a great picture. And the movie pitch is a romantic comedy with Emma Stone and a CGI character. Uh, and they named the actual guy Andy. I forget the last name. And he's the guy that did, like, Gollum and stuff. So he's, like, known for doing motion capture and things like that. Um, so it's uh, Emma Stone and Gollum. Basically, well, not Gollum, but a CGI character played by this guy. And we're like, perfect. Unicorn's clearly going to be CGI. He'll play that. Emma Stone is the lead. It's a romantic comedy. And we were like, let's make it a romantic dark comedy. This is why I always win the movie pitch. Third week in a row. Anyway, so um, uh, Emma Stone plays Cat, who is the person that drew the picture. We're just naming the character straight up after her. And... Uh, She's traveling on her unicorn across the country to spread the ashes of her boyfriend who just died. Uh, and so on the journey, she visits SeaWorld and meets Daniel Day-Lewis, who plays a brony. For those of you that aren't familiar with brony language, they're men that like My Little Pony. For the most part, just it's a good rule of thumb to avoid bronies. 
that's the type of people they are. Anyways, so she meets this guy, and uh, we're like, can she, you know, get over her ex and fall in love? And I decided to end that sentence with this male rights activist, which if you ever want to get horribly frustrated at the world, look up male, male men rights activists. They're awful and everybody hates them. Um, and so as soon as Kat saw that I put that sentence, she's like, no, she's like, he kills, she, Kat will kill this guy just like she did her ex. And we're like, ah. Oh, and also another important detail about Kat is she's the type of person that you always find in the kitchen at parties, referencing our uh, team name. So this is a beautifully constructed script. The title of the film is You Are Your Dreams, just like she wrote on her picture, because she learns to love herself. Uh, we also included that there will be a whole bunch of CGI cats that are imaginary. The unicorn, of course, is not imaginary. That's a real unicorn, but the cats are imaginary. Man, how long is this video already? Anyway, so we made it, we, there was a three-way tie this week, so I'm really interested to know what those other two scripts are that touched our script. Like, we had a beautiful, we filled up an entire page with this script, plus we had another tire and page of a drawing of the main character. It was wonderful. Um, but the tiebreaker was a dance-off. It was a dance freeze where they play the music and when they pause it, you have to freeze. And, uh, I single-handedly won that. I was the last member of the three teams to still be there. So we got a bunch of candy. And then after they do that contest, then they announce who won the trivia and it was us. And we're like, yeah. So we won a bunch. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much the day. Uh, and while I'm doing a video, I'll give you a heads up. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to go into Glasgow, which is one of the uh, two big cities here in Scotland, uh, because there's a TV production club thing at this big university, and it's their 50th anniversary, and they're like a real legit studio. They've got you know a lot of great things, so we're going to a uh, party for that down in Glasgow uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to be hanging out with a bunch of air TV people, meeting a bunch of other, you know, film people from other schools and uh, having a lot of fun, stuff like that. And I've not been to Glasgow yet. So I look forward to that. And that's going on. Uh, and then I have a feeling something on Sunday is going on, but it might be something minor, like filming a sporting event or something. Uh, but anyways, keep him real busy. Uh, that's one of the things that Michael mentioned on our radio show. He's like, wow, Jacob, you're always super busy. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, you know, um, and now I'm going to wash off my face and go to bed because it is just about 2.30 in the morning here. I didn't start recording this as soon as I got back. I was watching Watch Mojo. Go check out Watch Mojo on YouTube. They do like the 10 best villains, the 10 best like theme songs for movies. And it's a good way to get totally lost and just remind yourself of a bunch of cool movies or cool songs or, or things like that. In case you're wondering why this looks awful, uh, if you didn't guess already, I'm not using my camera just because I was too lazy to set up a tripod. So I'm using it on my computer. This is an HD computer camera which is clearly lower definition than my legit camera. If you have any questions, just go to my ask. If you think that my layout is worse than it used to be, tell me. I'll reevaluate my layout again. You know, just trying to make it as user-friendly as possible. Uh, hopefully this layout, I mean, at the very least, I lost the Scottish flag, but at least now, uh, it should be really easy to find that ask button. So feel free to use it. That's it.